larger mold here for our CBR test specimens. Um, we compact the soil in this mold and on top of the soil, we place these uh, pieces of metal. These are called surcharge weights. These weights are meant to simulate the weight of a pavement section on top of the soil. So the engineer takes into account the weight of the gravel and the weight of the asphalt resting on top of that soil. And the weights and the mold, they get soaked in a tank of water for four days. And then after the four days, we can use a dial gauge to determine the change in the soil's volume. Um, this is critical because if the soil changes its volume too much, it can affect the pavement section. So more, this is called swell, and the more a soil swells, the more gravel and the more asphalt you're gonna to need to put on top of it to mitigate the effect of the swell pressure. The swell pressure is gonna push up on the pavement section from underneath, okay? And if the, again, if the swell pressure is too much, it decreases the life expectancy of the pavement section. Now, um, there's usually some, some budget to consider when you're designing a pavement section. Um, you know, an, an engineer, you know, they, they like to design a nice, robust pavement section, but the end user of the pavement, uh, of, the, uh, of the pavement section, the one who's paying for that to be constructed, may not have the budget to, um, to meet the engineer's design requirement. So, based on ultimately the budget and the, the soil condition, they have to find the sweet spot, what's gonna work. You know, so, and then at that point, it kind of becomes a maintenance issue. You know, there's there's other factors involved with, with the life cycle of the pavement section, but this is this is just one part.